Each year, parents and guardians must complete the emergency card verification form for each of their students to ensure schools have the most up-to-date information in case of an emergency. We will take a look at how to access and complete the form online. It's important to know that an emergency card verification form must be completed for each student individually. A weekly email is sent to the student's primary contact on file at the school with information on how to complete the emergency card verification. This email contains the student's five-digit PIN to access the form and instructions on how to complete the form online. Please check all email folders for this email. If you did not receive the email, please contact your student's school and they will be able to provide the student's five-digit PIN. You will also need your student's six-digit identification or lunch number. The emergency card verification document is available in English and Spanish. Click to select your preferred language. If you need language support, please contact the bilingual facilitator assigned to your school. A list of bilingual facilitator assignments can be found here at the link in the blue banner. Before you begin, make sure to have your student's birth date, student number, and five-digit PIN ready to access the form. Please note that the form will include descriptions of permissions for your student, including photo publication and the release of other information. If you have any questions about these permissions, please contact your school. Click Begin Form when you are ready to start. First, you will enter the student's five-digit PIN, student ID, and birthday. Please be sure to enter the student's birthday in the correct format, which is the two-digit month, two-digit day, and four-digit year. Click Submit. The first section of the form is the student's data and transportation information. Please complete all areas of the form and check all boxes yes or no. Verify that your student's photo is correct by checking yes. If the photo is incorrect, please check no and contact the school. If the photo is blank, please check yes. Check that their name, ID, and grade level are also correct and check the boxes for the correct form of transportation and emergency or unexpected dismissal plan. You will not be able to submit the form if any boxes are left unchecked. There are also two notices here to review. For custody issues, contact your student's school immediately. If your student has a life-threatening or chronic health condition, you will also need to notify the school nurse. Next are the student permissions. Please check yes or no next to each permission item. If you have questions, contact your student's school for more information. Now you will need to review and or enter the student's contacts. If the contact is no longer an active contact, you can select to remove that contact. Verify that the address, telephone number, and email addresses on file are correct. Confirm your email address and at least one phone number for the main contact. Check one preferred communication number for automated phone calls and texts from the school and district. For each contact, you will also need to check yes or no for contact permissions. Please note that even if you check yes for contact can pick up student, the school will still require prior authorization of the legal parent or guardian unless it is an emergency situation and the parent or guardian cannot be contacted. On the form, you can select your preferred language for communication and also check if a translator is required for phone calls, conferences, or other events. If you would like to add additional contacts, please do so here by clicking the green Add button. These emergency contacts will be available to the main office at your student's school. To complete the form, click that you have read the disclaimer and then add your signature. Once you're done, click the blue Submit button and you are all set. Thank you for completing the emergency card verification form and providing important information about your student. Please contact your student's school for any questions or assistance.